Hi everyone! I wasn't entirely sure I should make this video because I don't want to upset anybody for leaving out their favorite female body mod. And I am not an expert in all body types because most of my experience is with UNP. But before we start converting outfits from one body type to another, I thought it would be helpful to give a quick rundown of some of the most popular female body shapes. Here are the female body mods I'll be discussing, and links to all of them are in the description. Just be careful, most of them are not safe for work. The goal of this video is not to do a comprehensive review of all possible female body mods for Skyrim. Instead, we'll be doing a brief intro to these body mods, have a look at their default shapes and or body slide reference shapes, and focus on the available resources for each body type. Since most of these bodies can be reshaped in body slide, you no longer have to choose a body mod based solely on its default shape. Although, I would suggest picking one that starts off closest to what you want. Beyond that, you can pick your body mod based on whatever other factors strike your fancy. Like ease of installation and use, if there is a never nude option, availability of quality outfit refits and or body slides, the types of physics options, how detailed you want the privates to be, and so on. There are many reasons why people choose one body mod over another. And please, before you choose, always read the mod page in detail so you know exactly what you are getting. Some of these mods are tricky to install and set up, so you need to do your homework. Well, you can find what seems like an infinite number of female body types and variations for Skyrim, there are really just two ancestor bodies that everything in SSE is based on, CBBE and UNP. It is important to know which of those is the ancestor for your body type for two reasons. Since they have unique hands, feet, and sometimes necklines for each, if you don't match outfits to either your new body or the ancestor body, you will get seams. Since they have different UV maps, if you don't match your skin textures to either your new body or the ancestor body, you're going to have bad looking skin. For more information on why that happens, See video number 9 in this tutorial series. I'm starting with CBBE because it's probably the most popular in Skyrim Special Edition, and it's the easiest body to use right out of the box with both Body Slide and Outfit Studio. These tools were all made to work together, so it's a natural pairing. During installation, you can choose from several default non-physics CBBE shapes, either nude or never nude with various underwear options, pre-made vanilla and DLC outfit refits to match the shape you choose, and the option to install race menu morphs. If you want a different body shape and or physics, then it is quite easy to use CBBE in body slide. It comes with a number of available pre-made shapes, and you can find additional presets or shapes as separate mods. For example, there are UNP imitation shapes in this CBBE preset compendium. For converting outfits, CBBE comes with a number of resources, such as conversion references for UNP and vanilla. Most other body mods, if they provide conversion references, will probably have an option to convert to CBBE. This is a very easy body type to work with, and it often serves as a bridge between other body types that don't have their own direct conversions available. There are two additional CBBE body mods both aimed at providing improved body physics that you can install on top of the main mod. Just like CBBE, these can be built in body slide to any CBBE based presets. CBBE SMP has exactly the same body as the main mod, but with SMP physics applied. 
3BA is the same CBBE body shape, but it has more vertices for smoother shaping, more detailed genitalia if you're into that, more body slide sliders for greater customization, and options for mixing up both SMP and CBPC physics on the body. Both mods use 3BBB, which means it has three breast bones to provide more natural movement. When people refer to CBBE 3BBB, they usually mean 3BA, which is also called 3BBB Body Amazing, and this is the higher poly version by Acro. It is generally considered to be the superior of the two mods. However, this is subjective, so you do you. Regardless of which version you prefer, the shape is the same as CBBE, so you can just use the standard CBBE body to reshape the mesh. Although, you will need the actual final body for weight painting and everything else. To add physics, you can find instructions for CBBE SMP on that mod's main page. And for CBBE 3BA, I recommend watching Sun Jiang's videos, which I will link in the description. We will also be discussing 3BA conversions a bit later in this series. Touched by Debella is a very voluptuous fantasy style body shape, as you can see here, that is based on CBBE. It comes as a static body in a default shape with matching outfit refits in the main mod, so you don't have to do anything else after installing it. But it's also body slide compatible, so you can customize the shape further if you prefer. The main mod includes files to support building a physics version in body slide and a couple of conversion references to help convert outfits to the TBD default shape. If you prefer SMP body physics, you can install the TBD SMP mod after installing the base mod, and you'll have to build the new physics enabled body in body slide. Whether or not your outfit has physics doesn't matter for reshaping an outfit, so you can just use the default body from the base mod to do outfit conversions. However, it does matter for weight painting, so you'll need to copy bone weights from the appropriate body, either static or SMP, depending on whether you want the jiggle on your outfit or not. I covered the standard UNP body in a previous video, and if you plan to use or work with this body type, please refer to video number 40 about working with vanilla and UNP bodies for important information. Also, please note that UNP is not body slide compatible, so you cannot customize the shape. But don't fret. You can get customizable body slide alternatives with BHUNP or COCO, which both include UNP shapes, or you can use UNP imitation presets in CBBE. Using UNP in Skyrim Special Edition is more limiting, so I do recommend that you consider using one of the body slide compatible body mods instead, especially if you are just starting out. CBBE is probably the easiest body to use, so that is what I would suggest for beginners. Although BHUNP is considered to be UNP for a body slide, so that is another good choice. It's just a bit more complicated to use. The SSE UNP body mod is called Female Body Renewal, and it comes with two standard shapes, pinup or skinny as either a static body or a jiggling version that uses SMP or CBPC physics. You can also get pre-made UNP vanilla and DLC outfit refits from a separate mod. And if you want to convert other outfits to UNP, there are conversion references available within the CBBE and BHUNP body mods. UNP Blessed and 7 Base are two variations of the UNP body. UNP B is the same as default UNP, 
except the boobs are bigger at the higher weight setting. Seven base is UNP with wider shoulders, bigger boobs, and full thighs. It's touted as being the shape of a, quote, sexy Amazon woman. Like UNP, neither of these are body slide compatible. So the shape you get is the shape you see. Although both mods have options to download either a static body or one with physics. Refitted vanilla and DLC outfits can be found in other mods like these two. If you want the UNPB or 7 base shape with a body slide compatible body, then you can get them from BHUNP or Coco or by using an imitation preset with CBBE. And if you want to convert outfits for these bodies, your best bet is probably using the conversion references in BHUNP or doing it manually. Unfortunately, you cannot convert from either the LE or SSE UNP body to UNP blessed by making yourself a slider because their vertices are not the same. But you can make a slider from UNP female body renewal to the seven base body, at least for Bombshell and Amazon, which admittedly are the only two that I tested. Unified UNP is not a body type per se. It is a term that refers to the UNP family of bodies, and it encompasses a bunch of different shapes that were originally available on the UNP body base, including the ones we've already discussed. UUNP isn't really a thing in Skyrim Special Edition, and BHUNP is the replacement. BHUNP, which we will talk about next, is body slide compatible. It includes most of the previous UUNP shapes and you can still use your old UUNP presets. So if you want outfits in any of the old UUNP shapes, then BHUNP is the mod you're looking for in Skyrim Special Edition. Bakahayun UUNP Next Generation, or BHUNP for short, is based on the UNP body, has body slide customization sliders, in-game race menu morphs, and body physics using either SMP, CBPC, or both. It uses the three breastbone system and has a higher vertex count than the older UNP bodies and static or physics-enabled body slide files for all vanilla and DLC outfits are available. When you install BHUNP, you don't actually get a default female body replacement. So you will still see the vanilla body until you build a new one in body slide. This and its complicated faux mod make it more difficult to install, and so I don't really recommend it for beginners. But on the flip side, it comes with lots of choices for customization, and you can get pretty much any UUNP body shape using this mod. Another great plus is that there is a BHUNP modders resource that you can download to help support making outfit conversions to a number of different UNP shapes. Even if you don't install BHUNP for your main body mod, you should grab the modder's resource if you want to make conversions to any UNP-based body shape like Female Body Renewal, UNPB, or 7Base. I haven't quite figured this one out, but I see more and more outfits refitted for the Coco body. It appears to be a higher poly version of CBBE and UNP that has even more sliders and potentially better physics, and it seems to cater especially to sex mod users. Like BHUNP, there is no default female body, so you'll have to build it in body slide. And there is a plugin included to support race menu morphs if you also build the body or outfit try files. The Coco female body comes in both a CBBE version called Body A and a UNP version called Body B with physics on either. And you can choose SMP or CBPC-based physics. Be sure to read the main mod page 
and build all the required parts as listed here for whichever option you choose. If you want vanilla and DLC outfit refits, you can use one of these two mods depending on which cocoa body you use. For outfit conversions, the reference shape for both body A and body B is the same as the BHUNP reference shape. So, you can convert to that shape and just replace the body with the appropriate cocoa body for weight painting and conforming to body sliders. So, which body should you choose? Honestly, just like real life, beauty is so subjective that nobody can tell you which body mod to use. You should choose whichever one has the options that you prefer. The most plug and playable body mod is probably CBBE, so if you want something that's super easy, then that's your best bet. The only other recommendation I will give is that you are better off picking a body mod that is body slide compatible. This will allow you to customize the shape to your liking and will open up the most outfit possibilities. At the time I'm making this video, there are probably more outfit mods for CBBE than any other body type, but that should not deter you if you really prefer a different body. Converting outfits isn't all that bad in most cases. Some bodies are easier or harder to work with than others, but nothing is insurmountable. I have read that different vertex or polygon counts in different parts of the various bodies makes some easier to convert than others. For example, some people say that CBBE is the best for overall body smoothness, but that BHUNP has a smoother look in the breast and leg areas. But there doesn't seem to be a consensus opinion on this, so you may just have to play around with both to see which one you like best. Hopefully you found this overview of various female body mods to be helpful. Even if you have already chosen and installed your favorite body, this info should be useful if you want to convert outfits from one body type to another. Converting outfits may require you to download several different female body mods in order to support your conversion work in Outfit Studio. So poke around and look to see if there are tools available for the body types that you are working with. In our next tutorial, we will actually start talking about outfit conversions for real. I'll see you again soon for that, and thanks for watching. Bye!